The graduating class of Washington High School is about to walk across the stage, leaving the innocence of youth and accepting the responsibility of the future. First, one special student will be recognized, Chris Brown. His basic hobby was uh, he liked to work on cars and stuff like that. He loved to go hunting, liked to go watch the races with me and just do different things together. He knew that he had to finish Washington so that he could go ahead and finish being, you know, certified to be a machinist too, so that he could make enough money to support himself and a family. Chris would be the first of three sons born to Bob and Tanya Brown to graduate from high school. On Saturday, January 26th, Chris had just stopped at the light at 86th and State Avenue, only a few blocks from his house. A driver, under the influence of alcohol, came flying over the hill, rear-ending Chris's car at full speed. The first time Bob and Tanya saw their son was in the critical care unit. When we finally got to really see him in the, in the room, he didn't have, he had one scratch right above his eye and one scratch on, on this shoulder. They had to wait until Monday to determine if Chris had lost blood flow and oxygen to his brain. He never regained consciousness. They brought the, the nurse in, the doctor came in, and uh, social, worker. social worker. And before, and he started to say something, and Bob goes, no, don't say it. And he told him that we needed a couple of minutes. They knew it was to discuss organ and tissue donation. Before them lay a decision that no parent ever wants to make. But thanks to Chris, it was taken out of their hands. There had been a program at Washington about organ donation, and it seemed like I remembered him saying something about it, you know, one morning on his way out the door. That program was presented by Gift of Life volunteers, including Kim Harbor, the organization's founder. Well, my son Luke is alive today because of another family who lost their eight-year-old son. After the program at Washington High School, Chris shared his decision to become an organ and tissue donor with his parents. When Chris had showed it to me, I was looking at it and I said, well, Chris, you, shine, you signed us on the wrong spot. And he says, what do you mean? And I said, well, you signed it in an organ donation place. And he looked at me and smiled and he says, what do I need them for after I'm gone? He said, why not help somebody? At the time, I was kind of shaken up, you know, and stuff. But as the, you know, as it progressed more and more that day and stuff, I kind of, kind of thought, you know, you're making a, a grown-up decision, you know, and I was proud of him for it. The teenager took the step to have a conversation with his family about donation, let his wishes be known, and unfortunately, in this story, he did become a donor. But it made that decision for his family much easier because he had signed uh, because his. Because he had signed his organ donation card. And but it was worth it. Yeah. Because he lives on. Washington High School students lost a friend. Loving parents lost a son. Nick and Matthew Brown lost a brother. In life, Chris touched the hearts of many. His decision to be an organ and tissue donor saved and enhanced lives. Chris was an organ donor, and at the time of his death, his heart, lungs, liver, kidney, pancreas, and other parts of his body were donated to others who will now live a more prosperous life as a result of Chris's life. Because of his generosity and selfless decision, those recipients and their families are deeply grateful for the gift of life. I received a heart. I received a new kidney. I received a liver. Every day is a good day since my liver transplant. I survived liver cancer with a transplant five years ago. I am a kidney recipient and received a medal at the transplant games. I am a wife and a mother with a heart transplant. My dad donated a kidney to me. I received a liver transplant. Talk to your family about organ and tissue donation. It saved my life. 